And CSA, because of the work you all do, you understand the changes we have to make in our schools to make them better for our children. You have been the forefront of that. And when we had these discussions over these months, that mutual desire to take our schools forward pervaded the room. And when you look at this contract, you're going to see real substantial reform. Reform in the actual meaningful sense, not the way some individuals use it. Reform that means the people who do the work, working together with the leadership of the school system in the interests of the children. That's the reform I believe in, a respect for the people who do the work and a willingness to keep experimenting and finding new and better ways. And so you'll see in this contract the ambassador program. The ambassador program for principals and assistant principals who have achieved a lot, who are accomplished leaders, who know how to turn around schools that are struggling, who are willing to join teams of professionals who are going to go into schools that need help the most and give us that special ability that only an experienced, wise, effective leader can bring and get additional compensation because they're helping us turn around a school that needs it the most. It's a pretty common sense idea. You're going to find it in this contract. And this contract reinforces the pro-school model, reform from within the school community, decision within each school about changes that would make the school work better. That's the kind of creativity and innovation that so many people in school communities all over the city have been asking for. Some freedom from DOE rules, some freedom even from union rules, together deciding where we will open things up to get things done, a democratic decision within a school community to create reforms that work. These are the ideas that are part of this contract. And I want you to hear that because if you look at some of the mainstream discourse, you would think the people who are members of labor unions, particularly municipal labor unions, somehow don't want change or reform or innovation. If you let the mainstream voices that we see in a lot of our media, if you let them uh, rule the day, what they would say is, well, of course, you're members of a union, so you can't be in favor of doing things better. Well, I actually have had the exact opposite experience. I have found that my brothers and sisters in municipal labor want to constantly work to make our city better. A lot of the best innovations, a lot of the greatest desire from reform has come from members of our municipal labor unions and leaders of our municipal labor unions who say, look, here's something we could try, here's something that could work, here's something that could take us forward. There's a pride in the work. Again, what a lot of the public discourse doesn't acknowledge, what it fails to recognize is people who do this work. If ever there was a labor of love, it's the work you do. It takes that desire, that commitment to do this work. And you want to succeed and you want your children to succeed and that is how you wake up each morning with that desire. This contract is as good as you in that it opens the door for progress and reform determined by all of the stakeholders. It shows that when you respect the people who do the work, that is the actual gateway to change. So I'll conclude by thanking you. I want to thank Ernie and all the leadership of the CSA. I want to thank you for your partnership. I have to say we benefit so greatly every day from a similar sense of partnership with the UFT. All of us together will do great things. We'll do great things because we have the right chancellor. We'll do great things because we have the right leadership all over this system. And today is another step forward to giving the children of this city the education they deserve, the best education that we can achieve for them using all of our hearts, all of our minds, all of our tools. We're going to reach our children. We're going to reach them. We're going to serve them. And that will create a better city for all. Thank you, and God bless you all. <laughs>